Welcome to BB Spoilers, I'm Peter, and today we will talk about, The Bold and the Beautiful Spoilers for Thursday, February 27. Tease that Ridge Forster and Steffi Forster will find themselves feeling heartbroken for Sally Spectra. As B&B viewers know, Katie Logan has just secretly intervened on Sally's behalf and told Ridge and Steffi that Sally is dying. This came right after Ridge and Steffi had decided to terminate Sally from Forster Creations. They assumed that Sally would be upset but would bounce back quickly, and they had no idea that she was dealing with such terrible circumstances. It looks like their game plan will drastically change now, and that they'll drop their plans to fire Sally immediately. But they'll decide to do more than that for Sally. According to BNB spoilers, Steffi and Ridge will decide to step up and do something truly special for Sally. Recognizing that Sally's symptoms and psychological strain have been interfering with her work, Ridge will take it upon himself to complete some of Sally's designs. It looks like Ridge will work with Sally's intended concepts and tweak them to make them couture ready. B&B spoilers say that Sally will be stunned to learn that Ridge has salvaged her designs, and that he plans to use them in the Forster Couture collection. It will be one way to honor Sally and help her through this time, and it looks like she'll be a blade to see a dream real as Ed, as her designs will however take the runway. Meanwhile, on the new episode of B&B on Thursday, February 27, Flo Fulton will reconnect with Wyatt Spencer. As B&B viewers know, Flo was listening in as Sally visited with Wyatt at Spencer Publications, and she cried as Wyatt told Sally that he wanted her back in his life. Flo knows that Wyatt and Sally reunion is the right thing to do, and she determined to step aside for now. But in order for the plan to work, Flo and Wyatt will have to spend some serious time away from each other while Wyatt helps Sally live out the remaining weeks of her life. Of course, as Flo has stated, she will link to make the sacrifice for the greater good of helping Sally in her time of need. And so on Wednesday episode of B&B, Flo and Wyatt will spend some final moments together. It looks like Wyatt and Flo will decide that they need to part ways for the time being, while Wyatt tends to Sally. They won't want to run around behind Sally back, so they'll prepare to make the ultimate sacrifice and temporarily deny their feeling s for each other so that Wyatt can be with Sally. It will be tough for the pair to part, but the fact that they are doing the right thing for Sally will give them peace of mind. Ongoing B&B spoilers say that Wyatt will ultimately invite Sally to move back in with him, so it appears that the two will reunite, with Sally being none the wiser. It a GE Nero us and loving move on Wyatt part, and hopefully it will give Sally great comfort going forward. Bold and the beautiful fans were not at all shocked to see Hope do what she does best. We knew she would find a way to ruin things for Thomas and for Zoe. She knew that they were in the middle of enjoying a sweet moment with one another when she made the decision to go in the re and interrupt them to the best of her ability, yet she did it anyway. She not someone who makes entirely good decisions, but she is someone who can make life a little more complicated when she wants to do that. She knows that he is going to marry her, but she not sure that she can handle that with all that is going on with his son. Douglas begged Hope to marry his dad instead of allowing him to marry the woman that he is going to marry, and she cannot handle that. Then there is nothing more surprising than the deal that Brookie just made with Ridge. She going to do something that is not really her style, and we are sure that this cannot be real. She is not that kind of woman, and we all know it. She got a lot on her mind and in her life that is not okay with anyone else. But she not the kind of woman who will do anything she not going to gain something from in return. She not going to get anything in her life that is good if she doesn't forgive Thomas. And that all there is to it. She decided to forgive and forget, and that not something we think is entirely honest and happy. She a mess, and we all know that she not that kind of girl. But, this is happening right now. Sally is going to die and there is nothing that Wyatt can do about it. She not going to live now that she has been diagnosed with this terminal illness, and his guilt has racked him with more than he can handle. She not looking for help or for anything else from anyone right now, but she especially not looking for it from him. She not happy with him in the least, and she is not going to allow anyone to stop her from what she is doing. 
However, he cannot stop thinking about her and what is going on in her life and how he only added to this by ending things with her. He crushed and unhappy, and there is nothing that they can do about it right now. He and Flo are figuring things out, and part of that is to try and help Sally. They want to be there for her and they want to find something that will help her out, but can they make this work? Can they find a way to help her in the midst of all this? Katie is going to do all she can to make sure that Sally does not lose her job, either. She is trying so hard to make it clear to the end that she has to keep her job and that they cannot give up on her because of this, and we think this means she will also share the problems that she having with them, too. Another secret not kept from her. It hit me, we are already have enough people in the world trying to gaslight us every day. Why would I want to see more of this on my TV screen? Thomas fits that mold perfectly, and he might just work as a villain if everyone around him didn't already know what he was capable of. Sheila was at her best in Los Angeles before her nefarious deeds in Genoa City were discovered. Liam's right. Hope shouldn't even be talking to Thomas after what he's done to her, let alone defend him and make Liam's kiss with Steffi more important. Yes, good on Hope for not wanting to take another ride on his Steffi go-around. But come on, Hope. If you think at least Thomas would be committed to you, then you need to be committed. So does Thomas, but nut jobs running free is a thing these days. Liam, for as dead on as he has been about Thomas, if not heavy handed, might also want to check his concussion prone head. He seriously does not think Thomas had anything to do with Liam kissing Steffi and Hope seeing it. If Whole Foods stopped selling tofu, Liam would think Thomas bought out the company to deprive him. And he isn't putting two and two together about Steffi suddenly kissing him. Then there's Zoe. Okay, I realize the General Hospital spoilers built a super couple out of a victimized girl getting with her rapist, but Zoe ain't Laura, and Thomas sure AF ain't no Luke. My point being, you do not start dating a guy who menaced you and threatened to send your father to jail if you told the truth about something. Yet that's what Thomas did, and Zoe is going all gaga over him. This is the girl who slinked onto the scene when S talking the ex-boyfriend she scared away with some aberrant behavior we still don't have details on. She cyber bullied Hope and framed Sally for it. Sure, maybe she legit turned over a new leaf when Xander gave her a second chance, but as she lost all her street smarts along with her accent, Zoe should see Tom's foolery for what it is a mile away. Instead, she buys his sweet talk when other s try to instill doubt in her and has his back when it comes to the family she helped keep a baby from. Am I missing something? Because I just don't understand it. And yet, I feel bad for her, because I know she's being used and will however get hurt. Hmm. Can we see Zoe go psych Juan Thomas after that? I mean, that would be some serious must-see TV right there. Finally, there are the people that know Thomas ST stinks, but aren't doing anything about it. Quinn would lose Eric in a second if Papa F found out she knew his grandkid was still after Hope, so of course she's not going to tell. But hell, even though pusher Vinny knows his butt is gleefully using his son. Why doesn't Vinny rat his ass out to the Forster S? Thanks for watching, please like and subscribe, see you again. Steffi could end Thomas' reign in a second by putting the fam on conference call and spilling how Thomas put her up to kissing Liam inside of Hope. What's got Steffi staying quiet? It's not like her bro is threatening her, yet. Does Steffi really value her not relationship with Liam over Thomas trying to get busy with his stepsister? Let's not forget that's still what Thomas and Hope are to each other. Gross or gross? I should also mention that Brookie and Liam are not helping their own cause. They're not wrong when they do their hand-wringing about Thomas, but it's time they take action. Liam once got control of Spencer Publications by recording his dad confessing he'd burned down Spectra. Why can't Liam do that here? It would be super easy to go add Thomas into tipping his hand with a digital tape rolling.